A reading of I May Be Little, The Story of David's Growth by Marilyn Lashbrook, narrated by Linda Obis and a production of Mount Holly Baptist Church. Good evening, children. It's bedtime Bible stories with Miss Linda, and I'm so happy to be with you here tonight. We have a wonderful story, and if you're all ready, do I see Henry? I see Cole and Colin, and then I see Mason and Hunter, and Jet, there's Jet. Hi, Jet. And I see Christian and Gabriel, and I think that's little Lila back there, and Brayden. I'm so glad you're all with me this evening. So let's cuddle up. And tonight, we're going to hear the story about I May Be Little. And it comes from the Old Testament in the book of Samuel. It's taken from 1 Samuel 16 and 17. And it's a story about David's growth. So let's get started. Long ago, in a land far away, lived a little boy named David. He had seven brothers who were older and bigger and stronger than David. It's like Mason is older and bigger and stronger than Hunter. He's his big brother. And Cole is stronger and bigger than Colin. Colin is his little brother, like David was their little brother. They did not want a little boy in the way while they were working. That's how big brothers are. Sometimes little brothers get in the way, and they didn't want their little brother getting in the way. You know how that is, don't you, Mason? And Colin, and Christian. Sometimes when you're working, and maybe Hunter and Gabriel and, and Cole, uh, they get in your way. Sometimes when that happened, David felt very small and unimportant. But one day, his father gave him a job of his very own. He asked David to be a shepherd. A shepherd, most of you know, is someone who watches the sheep. A shepherd counts his sheep to make sure they're all with him. You can learn to count sheep too. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sheep. David had ten sheep in his pasture. I love sheep. A shepherd leads his sheep to food and water. He makes sure they're not hungry and they get enough to eat and drink, just like your mom and dad do for you. He puts medicine on their scratches when they get tangled up in the briars, just like your mom and dad does for you. A shepherd loves his sheep, just like your mom and dad loves you. David was glad to have a job to do. I may be little, but God will help me do big things, David said, and he believed that. David took his sheep to the grassy hills and he watched while the big sheep ate lunch. He laughed when the little lambs romped and rolled in the wild flowers. But sometimes David felt lonely. There was nobody with him. So, David made up songs to remind himself that God was always near. David spent many, many hours talking to God. They became best friends. David knew God could help him become a good shepherd. God could help him protect his sheep from hungry animals because David loved his sheep and wanted to protect them, just like your mom and dad want to do for you. Often, David practiced throwing rocks with his sling, 
and he learned to hit his target every time. Remember, we had slingshots, and we had used them in children's church, and you had little balls to show you how David used his slingshot. That was a real slingshot that he was using. One time, a growling bear came and chased the little lambs. Round and round and round and round, David whirled his sling, and then zing! went a stone through the air, and whack went the stone on the bear's snout. The bear zipped away through the bramble bushes. Another day, a ferocious lion spied David's sheep. He wanted lamb burgers for lunch. With one big bound, that lion pounced on a fluffy little lamb and snatched it away from its mama. There was no time to use his sling. David ran as fast as he could. He knew God would help him save his sheep. And before the lion knew what happened, David grabbed him by the mane and bopped him on the head. With his bare hands, children, he was very brave. God gave him courage. The fluffy little lamb was safe, and David was happy. He had done a good job. David said, I may be little, but with God's help, I can do big things. And you know what, children? With God's help, you can do big things. So now, let's pray our bedtime prayer. And bow your heads, put your hands together, and close your eyes, and let's say it together. Heavenly Father, now I lay me down to sleep. I pray thee, Lord, my soul to keep. May angels watch me through the night and wake me with the morning light. Amen. Good night, my sweet loves. God loves you, and so do I.